Welcome to another Zach Hotel Hack. I'm your host, Zach, a comedian, tour guide. I'm here in Morocco. I've been here for a month. I'm going to give you a few tips that I've learned since I started traveling here that I wish I knew before I came to Morocco. Number one, money. Let's talk about that moolah, okay? You're going to want to have cash on hand wherever you go. Many places, they don't accept credit cards. So you have to go to the ATM and take out money. Now, a lot of these places, uh, they're gonna give you 200 dirham notes, all right? Now, a lot of places aren't gonna be able to break a $200 note. So when you get a $200 note, break it like a Kit Kat, okay? You're gonna wanna have a lot of change on hand to pay for things like taxis, stuff like that. Uh, and now, talking about money, tip number two, haggling. Uh, it might seem annoying at first, but you, think of it as a sport. All right, it's kind of Morocco's national sport. Uh, have fun with it. And when people offer you a price, here's a little thing that I do. Do a third of that, all right? Now they're gonna say you're crazy. That's a crazy amount, but go a third. You'll meet in the middle and hopefully you guys both get a price that you're both happy with. So haggling. Tip number three bottled water you're gonna want to buy a lot of bottled water this isn't just for drinking it's for brushing your teeth it's for washing off fruit avoid things like ice or salads things that could get you sick all right <laughs> because if you drink the local water you're gonna be blasting out of both ends over a squat toilet uh, and speaking of squat toilets that leads me to tip number Four, all right? I'm talking about these right here. These are your new American Express. You do not want to leave home without the pack of tissues, all right? Because many of these toilets do not have toilet paper. You're also going to want to get some hand sanitizers. And there are a lot of Western toilets, but there's also a lot of squat toilets. If you don't know what a squat toilet is, here's a picture of it here. It's just a hole in the ground. You better have some good aim but it's good for the digestion. Uh, so that's good. So make sure to always bring a pack of tissues. Now let's talk about alcohol. Alcohol, uh, it's legal here, but you are in a Muslim country. So alcohol is kind of a faux pas, all right? Uh, now there are places that sell it, like Carrefour, the supermarket. You wanna go there, they've got everything. And now they call alcohol shrub. Uh, I like to remember shrub because if you drink too much of it, you end up in the shrubs, okay? And there are bars and nightclubs here and they all serve alcohol. But if you want to buy wine or something from a liquor store, you're going to want to stock up on a Thursday because Fridays is the holy day here, which means you cannot buy any of it anywhere. Uh, so remember, stack up on a Thursday for some shrub. And if you are going to buy alcohol, be discreet with it. You don't want to be, woo, champagne, all right? Be discreet with it and drink it uh, at your Riyadh. And speaking of Riyadhs, that leads us to where I've been staying for the past few days. You're going to love this place. This is hack number five. If you're looking for a place to stay in Morocco, I recommend a Riyadh. These are old family homes with a courtyard. Many of these have been converted into guest houses or hotels. And if you find yourself in Aswara, I recommend Riyadh Seven Stones. Uh, uh, it's been lovely here. Oh, here's the manager here. This is Jesse. You're gonna love this guy. Hi guys. <laughs> uh, he makes a delicious traditional breakfast. Uh, and I was only supposed to be here a few days, right? 10 nights. I, yeah, and it's ended up being 10 nights. You fall in love with this wear pretty quickly. I may never leave. Wow, that would be good. Yeah, but I recommend coming here. It's reasonably priced. They've got beautiful modern rooms, and look how beautiful this space is. Wow, thank you. All right, tip number eight. Do not agree to any service or commit to anything until you've figured out a price first. Because if you ask after the fact what something costs, they're going to upsell you and you've lost all your bargaining leverage. So again, make sure you get that price first. Tip number nine, make loose plans. I know that's tough for Americans. You want to book your hotels and find out exactly where you're going to go. But you might meet new friends. You might fall in love with a specific city. So make it loose and just be chill with it. Tip number 10, plan your vacation accordingly. 
time of year is very important. Okay, middle of summer, it gets 116 degrees. That's like 35 degrees Celsius or something. I don't know, I don't speak European. But it gets very hot here in the summertime. I recommend coming here end of winter, beginning of spring. I came here end of February and uh, there, was, there was beautiful uh, almond blossom trees. Uh, I haven't seen any mosquitoes. There is no rats or mice here, mainly because this city is full of cats. This country rather. And look at this. Look at the, on the only pest in this country are these cute little kittens. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> so yeah, come when the offspring are out. And for my next tip, I recommend getting a tour guide. They can help you navigate the Medinas. Uh, they can translate, but get a tour guide that you can trust. A lot of these tour guides are gonna lead you into their cousin shop. They're gonna try to upsell you on some things. And if you want a trustworthy tour guide, I recommend the coolest dude in Aswara here. That the only tour guide that teaches yoga. Kareem, how we doing? We are doing good. Hi everyone, <laughs> welcome to Esmeralda. How can they find you? Yeah, it's Esmeralda Beach Yoga and Himiela Tours. Feel, feel free to check it out, guys. Alright, cool. So what's the next position here? Got it. And my final Zach Hotel hack about traveling Morocco, leave your preconceived notions at home, alright? Look, as Westerners, yeah, we're showing a lot of unflattering imagery of Muslim countries. Uh, but my time spent here, it's been really eye-opening. For starters, I've seen a lot of diverse landscape. Everything from snow-topped mountains, relaxed beach town, lush farmland. Uh, the cities here, they're medieval, they're modern, they're safe and clean. It's not until I came uh, to one of the cities here that I realized how disgusting New York actually is. And the people here in Morocco uh, have been genuinely uh, kind and friendly and generous and hospitable. And to be honest, it's, it's actually more progressive here than I expected. Uh, women don't have to wear hijabs here. They can dress up, they can go to the nightclubs, drink some cocktails. Uh, but it's just been really great to see that. And the Moroccans have really helped me understand that there is no one uh, Muslim experience, if you will. Uh, so it's been great here. I'm going to come back. Uh, inshallah, as they say. And thanks for watching another Zach Hotel Hack.